How can a commission named after a British parliamentarian, Sir John Simon, lead to a surge in India's struggle for independence? This thought-provoking question opens the door to a pivotal moment in Indian history, the Simon Commission. In 1928, seven members of the British Parliament, led by Sir John Simon, set out on a journey to the Indian subcontinent. Their mission was not a casual visit, but a significant task mandated by the British government to study constitutional reform in Britain's largest and most important colony, India. This group was known as the Simon Commission or the Indian Statutory Commission. The seeds of this commission were sown nearly a decade earlier, in 1919, when the Montague Chelmsford reforms were introduced. The British government at the time declared that a commission would arrive in India ten years later to examine the effects and operations of these constitutional reforms and suggest further amendments. But in a twist of events, the Simon Commission was appointed in November 1927, two years ahead of schedule. This commission, however, was met with widespread opposition from the Indian National Congress and the Muslim League. Even prominent leaders like Nehru, Gandhi and Jinnah opposed it. The reason? The commission was composed entirely of British members, with not a single Indian representation. This glaring omission sparked controversy and resentment. However, some leaders like Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Periyar Ev Ramasamy and Choudhury Choturam supported the commission's work. The opposition to the Simon Commission wasn't merely verbal. Lala Laipat Rai, a prominent Indian nationalist, led a protest against the commission in Lahore. The protest took a tragic turn when Rai was brutally beaten by the police, leading to his death 18 days later. This incident sparked outrage and further united the Indian masses against the commission. In response, the Indian National Congress, during its December 1927 meeting, resolved to boycott the commission and threw a challenge at Lord Birkenhead, the Secretary of State for India, to draft a constitution that would be acceptable to the Indian people. The Simon Commission proved to be a significant turning point in the Indian independence movement. It underscored the growing demand for self-governance and highlighted the British's unwillingness to include Indians in decisions about their own future. The protests against the Commission marked a new phase in the freedom struggle, fostering greater unity among the Indian masses and their leaders. So we see how the Simon Commission, initially meant to study and suggest constitutional reforms, became a catalyst in India's fight for independence. The controversy around its composition, the tragic death of Lala Lajpat Rai, and the subsequent boycott of the Commission by the Indian National Congress, all contributed to the rise of a more united and determined struggle for freedom. The Simon Commission, in its own unintended way, paved the path for India's eventual independence.